In the first video I talked about the ways in which you can transform someone's wishes, desires and conditions into an algorithm that will automate the process of design and production for you. And I call this digital formwork, because in the same way we make a mold to cast a concrete wall, we make a one-time use software to generate and produce unique elements in the building. Now from a historic perspective, this is how I see it. Irregular geometries were very hard to build, and if you could build a simple house for X amount of money or effort, you needed a lot more to build something wild. So you can look at the example of Sagrada Familia and understand why it took so many years to build what we can see today, and we still have a lot ahead of us. So with the process of automation, we significantly decreased that price. All around the world you can see stunning freeform buildings, but the problem is that they still cost more. Not ridiculously more, like before, affordable, but more. And no one can say that this is intrinsically better than this. And the only justification for this type of architecture is usually the artistic factor, sculpturality and the wow effect. The way for countries, governments and politicians to boast as someone would do with a new car. The way to create an attraction for tourists. So we're left with some obvious questions. Why don't these two buildings cost the same in 2015? And how can we achieve that? So here's the answer, as simple and as short as I can do it. The reason why this costs more are the remnants of the old ways of production. In our practice, it happens that we produce blueprints for hundreds of elements that could go directly to the CNC machine. But we had to stop and automate the generation of old-fashioned, complex blueprints. Even though we were able to automate 95% of these drawings, with dimensions and markings and everything, there is still a small part that has to be done by hand. A human has to see if there are some overlappings, if the layouts are good, and export the drawing. So this might take a couple of minutes or even seconds, but when you're dealing with hundreds and thousands of elements, we're talking weeks or months of redundant work. So how do we deal with stuff like this? Remember that the drawings ready for productions are generated instantly. So the answer is obvious. Cut out everything that is not necessary. The part of the work done manually, you automate. But you have to include automation from the beginning of the design process until the very end of production. So there is your simple answer. Architects and engineers include a programmer from the very beginning. They will create a software digital formwork step by step. And once your design is over, the entire generation of elements and production can be automated. Number two, cut out the unnecessary processes. We can develop different systems of error checking, but we do not need to be slowed down by unnecessary, tedious and redundant manual drawing. Now this is how we could achieve the same price. But we are left with another question. Is this good enough? If you ask me, not by far. We can use programming to build more efficient and sustainable architecture, regardless of the form and the structural complexity. Programming does not have to be connected to a complex form. We can take a simple cube and write software that analyzes shading, weather influences, material physics, behavior of the people that occupy the space. The list goes on and on. But more about that next time. Okay? Okay. <laughs>